guys, as I promised before, I'm gonna tell you a bit about Emirates Special Meals and about their catering services in general. Catering is a very important part of aviation business and quite interesting part of it as well. There is a lot going on behind the scenes. I've heard that quite many people believe that the food served on plane is not healthy because of the high amount of sodium added to it. They say it's because when we are in the air and the pressure is lower than on the ground, our ability to feel the taste decreases and that's why we need extra sodium to make the food taste normal. Is it true or is it false? I asked the staff working in a company that supplies airlines like Emirates, Thomas Cook, Monarch and Thompson and if you'll stay with me till the end of this video, you will know the answer. There are certain regulations in companies that produce meals for airlines. Catering can start preparing meals not longer than 24 hours before the flight. All the meals that come from the aircraft, doesn't matter if they were opened or not, they all have to go to the bin. And a lot of good food, unfortunately, is being wasted, but it's all for safety reasons. There are separate rooms to prepare meals for European airlines and there are separate rooms for Middle Eastern airlines. It's because food for Middle Eastern Airlines is halal. It means that it was prepared accordingly to Muslim customers' needs and it cannot be mixed with other meals. There are separate dishwashers for halal orders, separate rooms and separate fridges to store halal meals. Also, the employees who are packing halal meals are wearing different color of uniforms. For a small aircraft like A320, catering company usually sends one lorry and one van with supplies. For big aircraft like A380, it's four lorries, four vans, two additional people to arrange the seat pockets and one flight auditor. On this picture of a galley, you can see containers which usually contain dry stores, so tea, coffee, sugar, melamines and toiletries. These are the ovens where we heat the meals and these are the meal carts. Each meal cart has space for 39 meal trays. These are the bar carts. Soda and juices are kept in separate containers in the galley. This is just for the alcohols. Catering company except meals provides also toiletries, alcohols and duty-free products, which come also in metal containers like these. Emirates offers a selection of 19 special meals to suit special medical, dietary and religious requirements. These special meals must be ordered at least 24 hours in advance of your flight. Some of them may not be available on short sectors, however, all of them are halal. There is five choices of religious meals. One of them is AVML, which stands for Asian Vegetarian Meal. This meal is available for vegetarian passengers. It is usually aromatic and spicy and incorporates flavors from the Indian subcontinent. It contains one or more of these ingredients, all types of vegetables, fresh fruit and milk products. It does not contain any type of meat, fish or eggs. HNML, which is Hindu meal. This meal is available for members of the Hindu community who are not strictly vegetarian and it meat fish, eggs and dairy products. It contains one or more of these ingredients. Lamb, chicken, fish, eggs, milk and dairy products. It does not contain beef. VJML, which is vegetarian Jain meal. This meal is for members of Jain community who are pure vegetarians. It is prepared with a selection of Indian condiments. It contains one or more of these ingredients fresh fruit and stem vegetables that grow above the ground. It does not contain animal products and byproducts and any root vegetables such as onion, mushrooms, ginger, garlic, potatoes, carrots, beets, radishes, etc. MOML, which is a Muslim meal. All meals on Emirates flights are suitable for Muslims and are prepared in accordance with the halal method. This meal type can only be ordered for passengers routed on other airlines. It contains one or more of these ingredients. Lamb, chicken, fish, eggs, vegetables, fruit and dairy products. 
It does not contain pork, alcohol or non-halal prepared meats. Kosher meal is a meal prepared to comply with Jewish dietary requirements. There is nine choices of medical and dietary meals. One of them is BLML, which is blend meal. This meal is available for those who suffer from disorders of the stomach and digestive tract. It contains one or more of these ingredients. Mashed potatoes, fresh spinach, soft boiled eggs, boiled meats, toast, milk and dairy products. It does not contain baked or fried food, garlic, onions and spices. DBML, which stands for diabetic meal. This is a low sugar meal for passengers suffering from diabetes. This meal contains one or more of these ingredients. Low fat milk, butter, plain yogurt, lean meats, boiled potatoes, vegetables and fresh fruit. It does not contain any kind of sugar. Only certain permitted sugar substitutes may be used. FPML, fruit platter. This meal may be ordered for dietary reasons. It may also be ordered by members of certain communities who eat only fruit while fasting. It contains only seasonal fresh fruits, but it doesn't contain any canned fruits. GFML, gluten-free meal. This meal is available for passengers who are allergic or intolerant to gluten, a protein of wheat, barley, oats or rye. It contains one or more of these ingredients, dairy products, fresh vegetables, salads, fruit, fish, lean meats and rice. It doesn't contain any bread, sauces, pasta, custard, cakes, chocolates, rolls or crackers. LFML, which is low cholesterol or low fat meal. This meal is available for passengers who need to minimize their intake of fatty foods. It contains one or more of these ingredients. Margarine, cottage cheese, egg whites, boiled rice, potatoes, lean meats, fish, whole grain bread, cereals and fresh fruit. It doesn't contain any milk, cream, fat, cheese, egg yolks or fatty meats. LSML, low sodium meal. This meal is for those who suffer from high blood pressure. It contains one or more of these ingredients. Salt free margarine, foods low in sodium content and fresh or frozen food. It doesn't contain any salty cheese, sauces, dressings, cured and brined meals or canned food. NLML, non-lactose meal. This meal may be ordered for those who are allergic or intolerant to milk and milk products or those suffering from low lactose levels. It contains one or more of these ingredients, salads, vegetables and other foods high in fiber, pasta, rice, fish or meat. It does not contain any milk and milk products, sauces, soft rolls, croissants or chocolates. VGML, vegetarian meal, also known as vegan. This meal is totally free of any animal products or byproducts such as eggs or dairy products. It contains one or more of these ingredients, all types of vegetables and all kinds of fresh fruits. It does not contain any type of meat, fish, or animal products or byproducts. Unfortunately for those who have nut and peanut allergies, Emirates doesn't offer any meal alternative. They cannot guarantee any of these meals to be free from nuts and they will not take responsibility to give you any of these, so you should bring your own food on board. There is also five other special meals, including CHML, child meal. This meal may be ordered for children between the ages of 2 and 12 years old. It contains one or more of these ingredients, chicken, fish, fries, pasta, chocolate, crisps, crackers, milk and dairy products, and fruits and fruit juices. A vegetarian child meal can also be provided. BBML, which is baby meal, a standard range of brands of baby meals are available on Emirates flights. However, they encourage parents to carry food familiar and preferred by their babies. RVML, raw vegetable meal. This meal consists exclusively of raw vegetables and salads. Champagne. This service is provided on all destinations except Saudi Arabia, where alcohol is prohibited. If you wish to celebrate any anniversary or birthdays on board of Emirates plane, you can order a bottle of champagne. However, you have to remember that this is not included in price of your ticket, so you will have to pay some extra for it. Cakes. Cakes for birthdays, anniversaries and any other special occasions can be provided for a fee. 
For more information on the ordering process and methods of payment, you will have to contact nearest Emirates Reservations Office. Except special meals, there is always two or three other regular choices of meals on board. Preparing and serving tasty food for a few hundred people above the clouds is not an easy task. Because of food safety standards, all the meals have to be cooked on ground. There the food is packed, blast chilled, refrigerated and finally must survive reheating. All of this would modify flavor even if it was served at the sea level. Time to reveal the answer. Do aviation catering companies add extra sodium to the meals? And does lower pressure affect our sense of taste? The truth is that the chefs that cook for the aviation catering company that supplies Emirates prepare these meals exactly the same way as they would be served on ground. There is nothing extra added to these meals to strengthen the taste during flight. And the same I heard from the companies who supply Ryanair and LT Polish Airlines. However, some other airlines like Singapore Airlines admit that they add some extra spices so their meals taste better during flight. Studies conducted in Germany by the Fraunhofer Institute for Building Physics have demonstrated that our sense of taste decreases by about 30% at high altitudes. Interestingly, the study found that we take leave on our sweet and salty senses. Only sour, bitter and spicy flavors are almost unaffected. Psychologists are now finding that even your ears can play part in taste perception. The results of their tests say that people eating to the sound of the loud background noise rated food as less salty and less sweet than people who are eating in silence. In my case it doesn't really work this way as I very often take my own food on board, the same food that I usually eat on ground, so I never really noticed this food to taste any different or weird on board. So I think it's one of these questions without clear yes or no answer as it's more of a matter of personal perception. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Your support helps me out a lot. And if you're new to my channel, hit that button below, subscribe and don't miss my next videos. See you next time. Bye!